friends. Uh, thanks for coming back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, today I am joining in on a YouTube hop for the paper crafting YouTubers. And the theme this month is Let It Snow. So I am just documenting some uh, photos of my girls and their dad outside playing in the snow. And I am using the, uh, let's see, it'd be the December 2021 Hip Kit uh, from Hip Kit Club. And uh, the cut file is from Paige Evans. It is, you'll see it here in just a little bit. It is the snowflake tree. And I will have that linked in the description if you're interested in that. So I just took these photos and I printed them very, very small. Um, I want to say like maybe a two by two or something like that. And then I just took my circle cutter and cut them out. Um, they were probably like one and a half inch circles. And then I took um, this ombre colored pattern paper from the hip kit and I cut that snowflake tree out of that. So I'm going to work on the title here and it is going to say snow much fun. So I'm just going to get the letters out. I like to do this usually. I like to put the letters on my ruler. Um, this one doesn't matter so much but usually I do that so that I can kind of see how big the title is going to be and where I would like to fit it. So I'm going to try to have this tree popped up off the background paper um, but obviously being that it's not like a solid cut file where I have it backed um, and it, there's open spaces I have to be pretty strategic about where I'm putting the um, foam adhesive. So I'm going to put it behind the photos here and then I will put it just behind some embellishments that I add later on. And uh, for the background here, I'm using another pattern paper from the kit, and it's this beautiful snowflake one. It's kind of, um, I don't, it's not maybe necessarily white. I feel like it has a gray, light gray hue to it. And then of um, the border ship on the bottom, I really liked that, and I wanted to have it kind of be where my tree was anchored to, so I just cut off a little bit off the top. Of the pattern paper to keep that uh, border strip. So I have my photos on there and I'm just going to use, um, I'm going to put the title on just underneath each photo. So one word under each photo. So it says so much fun and I kind of have them overlapping slightly and not completely straight, just kind of somewhat following the curve of the um, round photos but not exactly I think it just gives a playful uh, tone to the title instead of you know doing the same thing every time and having it straight on uh, just changing it up so I originally was going to do like a tone on tone with um, this uh, Christmas or this snowflake tree because it has the different colors, but I wasn't liking um, that and it was just too hard with the die cuts that I had um, to find ones that I liked to fit with um, each little section or each little area of the photos. So I just went through and picked out some embellishments that I liked and I'm just going to mostly layer them on um, flat but I'm also going to pop some foam adhesive up, put some foam adhesive down so that I can pop them up a little bit and also pop up, pop off the, pop up the tree. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Um, like this one I put down just with liquid glue, but that other one that says so frosty, I did put a piece of foam adhesive down first and then adhered it. And then that one up there, I'll just tuck a foam adhesive underneath that snowflake in that little circle. And I'm keeping the embellishing pretty simple, not, not too much. 
I really liked the um, simplicity of this one because the cut file was so uh, intricate. So I liked the simplicity of um, this layout as far as there wasn't a lot of embellishing. Um, there was a lot going on as far as the color in the cut file. So that that's why I kind of kept them embellishing fairly simple. And I'm just taking my white gel pen and adding some stitching along some of the um, word phrases here. I like to do that a lot um, using my white gel pen, adding stitching in just random places that I feel like need just a little bit of something and it kind of is easier than actually getting out thread and stitching. <laughs> so I'm just going to add some um, more of that dark navy blue color with some watercolors. I am just splattering it with a uh, with a uh, paintbrush, and that's just kind of a fun way to add more color. And I believe I'm going to. I was debating whether I was going to use that little. I think it was a fox um, down at the bottom of the tree, and. Those were the other ones, the little ombre stickers I was going to add, but they just kind of got lost with all those other snowflakes, so I just decided I wasn't going to use them. I would save them for another project. And I'm going to go through my, um, I'm going to go through my enamel dots and pull out some gold ones because I backed those photos with, uh, some gold cardstock. So I figured I could add gold and pull out some more of that gold color. And then I'm also going to use some of these navy um, blue. And these are actually from a hip kit club. Or hip, hip kit from, uh, I think it was Keeping Cozy. And I think it was their last, was it last year maybe? I think it was last year. Their, um, one of their Christmas or winter lines. Uh, I just wanted to add a little bit more color in here, so I am taking this pattern paper and by color I should say I'm going to add some more detail, but I'm still using similar colors that are in the cut file. So I'm just going to add this blue floral paper to the sides. I cut out sec some sections here. And then I'm going to just rough up the edges and then I'll cut that, um, this floral, um, into two strips so that I can put it behind those little open sections. And that pattern paper was the back side of that ombre colored, um, paper that I used for the cut file. So I'll just use my ATG to add some adhesive around that. Um, around those openings and then add that floral, that blue floral paper. And that's just kind of pulling up on it a little bit more to add some more texture. And that's pretty much going to be the end guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process. If you did, give me a thumbs up or ask me if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the description below or excuse me in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys so much. and. Don't forget to check out all of the other videos in this hop. They will also be linked below. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!